Welcome to your reading, Taurus. Hey. This is a general reading, so we're going to get some energy for Taurus. And if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Um, they may be resonating with you more at this time, okay? So let's get some energy for Taurus. Okay, so we have... Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you together, okay? So there may be a soulmate that you're calling, or you may be meeting your soulmate, right? But I feel like that's what you may be manifesting at this time. And we also have, you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So there's definitely some kind of action that you need to be taking. There's something that you need to be pursuing. Maybe there's some kind of compassion. Um, so, some reason for you to kind of soften your heart and, and let things flow and open up. And maybe... Respecting the people involved in your situation. Also, maybe respecting yourself in this situation. Um, wow. Okay. I'm getting a lot of messages here. Okay. Give me more energies for Taurus. There's some kind of action that you, you need to be taking. You know, yeah, we have truth be told, the number 14, okay? So I feel like something is going to be revealed to you. Something is definitely going to be revealed to you. Maybe you're going to receive some kind of clarity on a situation that maybe you've been thinking about for a while, um, but I feel like you know, there's something coming out. Something is being revealed. Tell me more for Taurus. Give me a message for Taurus, please. What is going on in the past for Taurus that's leading to this situation? Give me your messages, Spirit. The devil. There's some kind of energy you're trying to work past. The Two of Cups. Okay. The Seven of Swords. The King of Wands. And the Hangman. <clears throat> okay. At the bottom we have the Hermit. So definitely, I feel like that that's that truth. That's that wisdom coming out. You know, that's that knowledge that you need to create. There you go. You're manifesting something. You may be partnering up with someone. Something's going to be very successful for you. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of increase. Some kind of value. You know. You you may be um, investing in, in a situation. Maybe you're investing in a new opportunity. Investing yourself into a career, right? But I feel like you're making this a priority. And you, wow, you're actively building. You're working on this. You're working on a lot of things here, Taurus. There's a lot of things that you're doing. And I feel like, you know, at, at one point, Something was holding you back from pursuing some kind of situation. It may be the person that you were with. It may be some kind of partner that you're with. Um, some kind of love interest was kind of holding you back and keeping you bound in a situation. Um, maybe you were bound to the family is what I'm getting. Um, but I feel like there, there's something that you're being set free from. Right? This may be a situation that you're leaving. You're leaving the situation to pursue your dreams. 
to pursue something that makes you more happy, more com more passionate about, you know, something that you love to do. So I, I feel like there, there's something that you're doing. And it, you, you're not taking no for an answer. You're, you're like full on getting down to business, you know, taking care of business, taking the initiative, you know. And I feel like you're, you're finding that true entrepreneur within you. And whatever you're doing is working because you are in your power, Taurus. You're, you're taking action. You're not sitting back waiting for someone to take the lead. You're being the leader, you know. And I feel like it's kind of... Taking you some time to become aware of the person that you can be. You know, I feel like you may have been really soul searching, but you've been kind of pushing yourself to take little actions, okay, to become more aware. Look at things from a different perspective. Problem solve, right? So I'm, I believe you're, you're really coming into your own, Taurus. You're really taking action of the situation. Okay. Let's get some more energy for Taurus. Some more energy for Taurus, please. Tell me about this devil card. This could be a Capricorn. This is Capricorn energy. This could also be someone that's holding you back. Someone that's binding you. It could be some bad habits that may be holding you back. Some kind of some kind of addiction maybe you have addiction to shopping or addiction to just buying things in general give me a message okay yeah the knight of cups and the six of swords definitely that there's some kind of love interest that you're walking away from I feel like someone kind of offered you their cup. They they proposed to you. You thought that this was your knight in shining armor, Taurus. But it turns out this was someone who was holding you back who wanted to keep you bound. You know, they may have had like a negative energy around them. You know, they may have been very negative about something that you want to pursue they didn't feel like maybe you were capable of it or they didn't want to put the money into it you know one of those one of those situations but i feel like you're definitely moving into something that's more better for you into a better position you're moving away from this energy of this knight of cups because you felt bound you felt stuck with this person they were holding you back from your dream. Right? They weren't helping you with your dream. They were holding you back. Tell me about this Two of Cups energy. Spirit, give me a message for this Two of, the, two of Cups. The Five of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I feel like... You know, this Two of Cups energy, there's a lot of competition. Maybe this person had a lot of people who were interested in them, or maybe they just weren't faithful. They wanted to cheat a lot. They wanted to put you on the back burner. And you feel like, you know, I can do bad by myself. I don't need this person to tell me what I'm worth. You know, I feel like you see how much you're worth, Taurus. You see yourself as great quality, as being very independent, very capable, right? As this luxury lady. And you don't have to be female, but I feel like you're very luxurious, okay? You have it going on, Taurus. You just have to really see that you do. You know, don't let this person's views of you kind of overshadow what you want to do in your life, okay? Tell me about this King of Wands energy. Tell me about this King of Wands. 
What is this energy here? Tell me about this King of Wands. The Page of Cups and the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay, Taurus, here's the thing. Look at this, the lovers on the bottom. Okay. I feel like this person that you want to move away from, that you're moving away from, you may have left this person. This person wants you back. They want you back. And I feel like, you know, you're going back to this knight, excuse me, this king of wands energy because they're giving you some kind of proposal. They're offering you some kind of partnership, some kind of love, letting you know that it's okay to pursue whatever you want to, Taurus. Just come back home. Don't leave. I can't do this without you. You know, I feel like this king of wands energy is like, you know, I'd rather let you do whatever you love to do than to lose you. Right? They don't want to see you walk away with this Seven of Swords energy. They're really into, you know, doing what it takes to make you stay. Okay? Oh, I want to clarify that one so bad. <laughs> Tell me about this Hangman energy. Give me a message for the Hangman. What is this energy, please? The Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely making, making certain things priorities. You're definitely thinking about what your priorities should be, what you should be putting your energy in, and what you no longer want to put your energy in. Okay, I feel like, you know, what's no longer important to you, you're just going to walk away from. You're going to go ahead and just say, you know, I'm not worried about these cups. I'm going to walk into the Nine of Cups and I'm going to get my, my wish fulfillment, right? So you're setting priorities. You are making choices that work for you. You're, you're not thinking about this other person's energy. You're thinking about what works for you and your situation. What dreams are you pursuing? Okay. Tell me about this Seven of Swords energy. Tell me why Taurus is in this Seven of, Seven of Swords energy currently. Tell me. Give me a message. <clears throat> the King of Pentacles. And the high priestess. Yeah, you're definitely, look at this, the seven of cups. You're pursuing opportunities. You're looking at the opportunities that may be lying ahead for you. And you're like, you know, it, there's so many opportunities that I can take. There's so many ways for me to create more abundance, to create more increase, maybe change my job, change my future, and create long-term stability. You know, if I, I need to follow my intuition with this situation, maybe there's things that I need to keep secret before I just walk away from this, you know, before I just, you know, gather up the lessons that I've learned in this situation and just walk away. Okay, so I feel like, you know, whatever it is that you're pursuing, I feel like you're thinking how you can better your situation, okay? Um, but you're you're listening to that inner voice, and I feel like you're really trying to find the clarity that you need. You may be listening to your angels at the moment, right? But I feel like you're definitely you're definitely on the verge of acting upon creating. Something that you are really passionate about doing. Okay. Uh, give me a message. What is a what is the outcome for this Knight of Cups, Six of Swords? Give me a message for this. What is an outcome for this Knight of Cups? Six of Swords. What is Taurus moving into? <clears throat> The Page of Swords, clearing the way, taking action, standing on your truth and taking your action. That That's this beginning to move situation, right? I feel like, you know, you see where you want to be. 
You're standing on your truth. You're figuring things out. This could also be someone who's very curious about what the actions are going to take you to. Right? What can Taurus do? You know, what's going to happen if I do this? What's going to happen if I create this? You know, finding that curiosity. Speaking your truth and standing on whatever it is that you are believing in. Okay? Um, you may be learning something new that you are going to pursue. Maybe you're doing the research. Maybe you're taking classes. Right? To further your career. Or um, start that hobby that you would like to do. Turn that hobby into a business. Right? So I feel like whatever you're doing, you're moving into this place of not backing down in the situation. Really pursuing what it is that you want to create. Okay? Tell me about this Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, please. Yeah, the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. The Nine of Pentacles was clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. Definitely. You're trying to win at all costs. You're trying to gain your abundance, gain your independence. You know? Have that increase, that luxury, everything that you need. You know, you feel like if, you know, this isn't going to be created by someone else. This is going to be created by me. I'm going to be the person who creates this. Right? And I feel like you're out to, to win at all costs. You're like, you know, go hard, go big, or go home. Right? So I, I feel like you are, you're really, you're really on to something. You're really on to something, Taurus. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Two of Cups. What kind of offer is this? Give me a message. Give me more of a message for this Page of Cups, Two of Cups. The Death Card. Yeah. You're, look at this, the Two of Cups. For real? Look at all these duplicates. Okay. So with the Page of Cups, Two of Cups, we have the Death Card and the Two of Cups. So I feel like you're turning down this offer. You're like, no, uh-uh. You didn't want me to pursue my dream. You didn't want me to take advantage of this offer. And now you want to offer me your cup. You know, I know, you know, I'm fine. I'll do all right. You know, you're totally changing. You're flipping the script. You know, you're totally turning down this offer. You're like, I've had enough. I've had enough of you, King of Wands. <laughs> right? <laughs> but I feel like whatever this is that you're doing, you feel like you can handle it. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Are you serious? And the Three of Swords. Oh my gosh, the page of wands at the bottom. Okay, wow, Taurus, wow. Yeah, you're setting your priorities. You know, what you're not using, you're leaving behind. You're moving into something else. You're not letting any distractions in. You've totally made your choice. You've set your priorities. Look how she's holding this Two of Pentacles much higher. You know, she's, she's actually finding that these priorities are high on her list. 
these priorities are lower, you know? She's setting out that intention. And this Three of Swords energy, you're like, you know, this is only going to hurt for a moment. You know, if I have to leave this behind. Whatever I have to leave behind, I'll deal with that heartache later. But right now I have some kind of goals that I need to achieve. Right? And I, I feel like somewhere in there, there may be some kind of doubt. Tell me more about this Queen, uh, this Three of Swords. Tell me about this Three of Swords energy, please. Give me more messages for this Three of Swords. Devil. Yeah. There's some negative energy here. That's the reason why you're like... It, it may have been really hard for you to make a decision. Um, but you're walking away from this. You're walking away from this energy. You have the Page of Wands again. That was on the bottom a moment ago. So there's something... You're, you're taking this new action. This new approach. You know, you're not letting anything stand in your way. You're just going for it. You you feel like you may be a little naive. You may not have all the answers. But you're just going to take that plunge. You're just going to do it anyway. Because you have a lot to learn, right? You have a lot that you're figuring out. Tell me about this King of Pentacles High Priestess. Tell me about this King of Pentacles High Priestess. The Judgment card, making a final decision, the Hierophant, making a committed choice, right? Looking at your spirit guides for answers, getting some advice, and then standing on your own understanding. This is Gemini energy, you know, with the Queen of Swords. Could also be Libra or Aquarius, but this is Gemini energy here. Right? So I feel like you're you're becoming more aware. You're definitely making choices for your greater good, right? And you you have a total understanding. You've made the choice. And now you're ready to take action. Wow, you're ready to move into this new adventure. You know, you're letting the universe lead you where it may, right? But you're moving forward. You you have inspired movement. You're taking action, okay? You're not just sitting back. You're like, I refuse to sit back and not take action. And place this, place this energy wherever it resonates for you. Okay, Taurus? This could be love, this could be money, this could be career, you know, but place this where it resonates because I feel like that is what's going to move you to this next level, okay? Let's go ahead and get some angel cards for Taurus. Let's get some angel guidance. Okay, yeah, we have passion, survival. I feel like you may have been just surviving, right? Um, but I feel like you're gaining your passion. We have the obsidian, the grounding, shielding, void. Yeah, you don't care what anybody thinks. You're like, that's it. You know, you're in just this creative movement. You're creating something beautiful. Okay, I feel like you're... In that inspired action to create. Okay. So let's get some monology cards. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Okay. Emotions are running high. Yeah. I feel the spirit moving in you Taurus. I really do. Show the world the real you. Yeah. Definitely show the world the real you. Let you come out. Don't go on someone else's actions. Don't go on someone else's thoughts or abilities. Do what Taurus needs to do, right? I feel like that's 
where you are going to gain your power. That's where you're going to find your passion. Give me a timeline for Taurus. When is this going to transpire? When, when will Taurus' situation become more clear? When will Taurus' situation become more clear? Within the next three weeks. Okay. I feel like you're going to be making a decision within the next three weeks, right? Momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way. Okay. I, I feel like spirit is speaking directly to you, Taurus. Now let's get an angel number. Let's see what Taurus needs to know right now. Message for Taurus, please. Message for Taurus. Potential. You have great potential, Taurus. You just need to find where to lay that potential to bring in your abundance, right? We have 333. Three, three. Your chance to reach your highest of potentials is here. Perseverance has gotten you where you are and you have been through so much. And this guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be right your affirmation Taurus my potential is infinite I use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good right so beautiful okay Taurus I hope this reading helps you Taurus if if it does make sure to like and subscribe share um, if this doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. And my beautiful Taurus, until your next reading, many, 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 many blessings to you. Love and light.